morning, my brothers and sisters. Good morning, brother. Are we glad that we're here? Amen. 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 It is important for us as believers, as children of God, to understand that the Bible is the Word of God, that the entire Bible is God-given Word from Genesis right down to Revelation. And that we as children of God must not extract or add to the Word of God for our own specific purpose and only as the day arise. So as I bid to extract truth and knowledge from the Word of God for our enhancement, for our development, and for us to, to, to live the life that God has called us to live, um, it is important for us to understand that I might be bidding from all the scriptures that would have been read to us this morning. Can somebody say amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God is good? All the time. God is good. It is also important, my brothers and sisters, as children of God, as believers, that that they there is some sense of destiny, there is some sense of purpose to our life. It is important as Christians, as children of the kingdom of God, that we understand that the Bible tells us that all things were created by God. Um, for his purpose and for his children. So it is important for us to understand that there is some sense of destiny, there is some sense of call, of purpose to our life. Are you hearing me this morning? Because if we do not understand that, many things may happen to us and we find ourselves in a place and situation which we should not be. But when we begin to understand that as children of God, as God created people, that there is some sense of destiny, some sense of purpose for our lives, though negative things might happen to us, we will understand that all things work together for the good to them that love it God and who are called according to his purpose. So first you need to, to love him and then you need to understand that you are called, you are a child of purpose. Are you hearing me this morning? Amen. Amen. Now, I'm also finding, my brothers and sisters, that if we are ever going to appreciate a man in life, understanding who he is and where he came from, help us to appreciate what he has to offer even more. How you heard And when we look at the life of Jesus, we understand the Bible says that Jesus was miraculously born by the power of the Holy Spirit. An angel appeared to the Virgin Mary and said, Behold, thou art with child, thou art from favor in the Lord's life, and thou art with child, and thou art to bring forth a son. His name shall be called Emmanuel, and he shall save his people from their sins. I heard That helps me to understand that, that the fact that life coming from God, that God had to have some divine plan and purpose for my life. The fact that life coming from God, that God had to set aside something specific for me in order for me to go through this life that he had called me to live. The Bible tells us that he, he, he shall save his people from their sins. Even from Christ's very birth, the Bible tells us that God has already predestined his purpose. God has already ordained that he are going to save his people from their sins and he will be, he will be a king. In the book of Jeremiah, the, the Lord said to Jeremiah that I knew you before you were born. I predestined your purpose for you. Tell the person beside you your child of purpose. Come on. Your child of purpose. We need to understand that as believers, if we are if we are going to live the life that God has called us to live. I'm also finding this morning, my brothers and sisters, that, that as believers, as children of God, we cannot live out our purpose by living in our past. I heard. We, we cannot live out our purpose by living in our past. Because very often when God gets ready to do something good in our life, when God gets ready to shift us to a new dimension, to move us into the purpose level, there's always something enemy will rock up from the past that will try to keep us bound. Are you ready? It's always something. When God gets ready to take you to a new level, 
I'm hearing what I'm saying, my brothers and sisters. I'm also finding this morning that as, as children of God, as God's people, we, we, we cannot live up our purpose if we cannot begin. Somebody say amen? Thank you. 